Hey everyone, today I think it would be fun to talk about getting rid of junk in your photos. So I'm going to go through, show you a couple different ways I use to get rid of stuff and um, things to watch out for. I think this image is a pretty good example. We have a couple different things that we can get rid of and we can use a couple different techniques to make that happen. So let's jump right in and talk about some different options. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of that layer just because we're going to do a couple different things and I'm going to show you a couple different tools. So um, let's take this light pole for example. We want to get rid of this. So one thing that you can do is you can go into your selection tool here and you can just draw a shape around this. And if you come into this area, in edit, there is an option to fill. And in here, you have a content aware fill option. So now what this will do is Photoshop will go into the image. It'll look around the area that you selected and it will fill that area intelligently. It'll It'll sample the colors around it and try to think about what you did. So let's try this and let's see what happens and then we'll talk about some of the limitations of the tool. So as you can see, actually did a really, really good job. Um, better job than I thought it was gonna do, to be honest with you. The only area is really right in here and what you can do is you can actually take that same selection tool you can go to edit fill again and you can go to content aware and it will actually get rid of that 100%. So just that simple, that light pole is completely gone. So now down here you have a little bit that's left. This would be easy enough to take care of with the clone stamp tool. And so how this works right here, you have this little rubber stamp tool. It's called the clone stamp. It's the shortcut is S. And what you do with this is you hold down your option or alt, and then you click where you want it to sample from. So we're gonna sample right here because we want to keep that body line and we're just gonna paint upwards just to get rid of that. So now if we zoom out, we keep the nice body line of the car and the bottom of that light pole is now gone. So that's one way to clone out. Um, honestly, the content aware fill tool doesn't always work that great. Let's see if we can, let's see what it will do with this one. So let's draw a selection around this. And let's go back in there, edit fill, content aware. And so see this one, you have a little bit of a problem. Um, there's not a lot of area to sample from. So if we click and you can see in here, it, it did an okay job, but it probably didn't do as clean as it could. So let me show you a trick for this. So we'll just go backwards. We'll hit Command Z and then Option Command Z to do it again. So we'll deselect that. So now if we go in kind of close, let's take our clone stamp tool and let's sample this area right here because this mountain's coming up. This is kind of a similar shape we can probably select right there. Again, you're holding down Option or Alt and clicking. And then we're gonna bring that right over here. So then if we just paint down, we don't wanna quite go that far, but now we have something that we can sample from over here. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna just kinda of rebuild this from the different colors in different areas. So now what you can do is you can do one of two things. 
So you can go in here and you can paint with the clone stamp tool and you can paint this away. But the other thing you can do, now that we've had a break, our content aware tool should work really good in this situation. So if we go back into content aware, we select it. It's a single color. There's not a lot of stuff that it needs to do. So it does really well in that kind of situation. So we have a little bit of spot right here. One thing that you can do to get rid of that is if you go into, here's another tool, your spot healing tool. And this one, you'll just click on this. What Photoshop does is it takes the colors around it and it just um, samples it, samples the texture and it kind of fixes it on its own. Now down here, we still have a little bit of the pull. You don't really want to use the spot tool on this because it's going to start making things muddy. See how it's starting to make it a little, well, it's doing an okay job. I think this honestly is probably a better, a better tool for the clone stamp tool. We can go in here and select some of this stuff and just paint some random patterns back in there to kind of get rid of that harsh line that we made. So there we go. We got rid of a second pole. We showed you two more tools. So we have the clone stamp tool and we have the spot healing tool. So let's try to do this light pole. I think first let's try and see what what Content Aware does. So select it, edit fill, Content Aware. And again, it actually did a pretty good job. You can see there's some ghosting still in here where that was. If you get that, you can try doing this. Sometimes this helps. This is called the patch tool. And basically what you do is you draw a selection around the area that you have a problem with, and then you select a new sampled area. And now what that does is when you select that new sample area, it's gonna blend that in with what you had before. So we have another little line right here. And so we'll just pull that over. And this is actually doing a pretty good job. And you see it's kind of similar to the clone stamp tool where you want to kind of line up the texture so it matches. And then down here we just have a little bit of area to clean up and that's probably a good opportunity to use the clone stamp again. So again we'll just select some area out here, and then we'll come in and just get rid of that. And we can bring that back some. So if we zoom out, we can see we got rid of those telephone poles pretty quickly and easily. So now down here, you have a couple different options. Let me show you another tool you have this down here. So the first one we used was a spot healing brush tool. This one is a healing brush tool. Now the difference with this one is you select similar to like the clone stamp, the area that you want it to sample texture from. So if we click here and we come over and we paint over this, you can see it's sampling 100%, but when you let go, it's gonna do some math and get rid of that stuff. Now same thing over here, we can go in and get rid of these rocks. And you can see it's doing an okay job. This might actually be a better for the spot healing brush tool or even the clone stamp tool. So let's go look at another image. The main thing that I wanted to focus on was this level up here. Let's say we didn't want that there. 
something that I sometimes do, I will take a selection down here, bigger than I need it to be. And if you take that selection and you hit Command J, what that does is that copies that onto its own layer. So then if you get your Move tool, or V, and you slide that up, now what you can do is you can go in with a layer mask and your brush tool. Get your brush nice and big and paint in black. And then you can go and just feather that in. And because we made it a little bit bigger, we have room to feather it in with the surrounding. So let's go in a little bit because our brush was a little bit too big there. And we erase some of the stuff that we wanted to keep. So here's a problem is that was selected from a different area and you can see that the tones don't really match. So to fix that, what you can do is let's make a curves layer. Right above that, we're going to right click and we're going to create a clipping mask. And now we just want to make this a little bit darker. So if we go to this middle point here and we pull down and we keep pulling down and we pull down just a little bit more somewhere right about there. So now if we zoom out, pretty good, it's covered up. So let's put these in a group really fast so we can turn it on and off. So those are some tools to kind of clean up your images and get rid of the junk. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, take care.